Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. So in the past few days, as some of you may or may not know, there has been a new update for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now with this new update came some issues and some problems with compatibility between updates and DLC versions for this specific game. What is especially infuriating for people who especially followed my 1.11.0 setup guide is that in that video I tell all of you guys to install V112 update and V48 DLC as those were the latest updates for this specific game at the time of making that video. What has been happening is people are following my guide, installing V112 update, however the only available DLC to download on that specific program is V64 which is completely incompatible with Breath of the Wild at this very moment. What a lot of you are seeing is exactly this. You will load your game, get into the main menu and then this would happen. Your Wii U emulator will completely stop working. In order to fix this, what you need to do is install compatible updates. In Wii U USB Helper, you need to download update, and when this screen pops up you need to select V144. Click OK and it will appear in this window here. The next thing you need to do is click Download DLC. Now unfortunately in Wii U USB Helper and other popular update methods like Maple Seed, V64 DLC is the only one available. If you do not have a backup of V48 DLC to use with V112 update data, you are going to have to use V64 and V144 update data. This does mean however that you are going to have to wait for FPS++ to be updated to match those updates. Basically what this all boils down to is the fact that new DLC update V64 is not compatible with older update data. Basically, the fact that the only available DLC to us is V64 means that if you have recently updated your DLC and do not have a backup of your older DLC, V48, you are going to have to use V144 game update data in order to get your games to work. Now once you have V144 downloaded, you want to come to install games and updates and navigate over to wherever it is stored. You are looking for this meta.xml file stored in the meta folder of this update data. Click yes and it will begin the update process. And that's all you need to do. Once you are correctly using V64 DLC with V144 update data, when you load into your game you should no longer have any problems running your game. As you can see in the bottom here it is running 1.3.3, that is V144 and DLC 2.1 which is V64 game update. As always guys, remember to have CMU hook installed and to turn on GPU fence skip hack using either the hotkey of Control, Alt and F or you can turn it on from the options menu of CMU by clicking on options and turning on GPU fence skip hack. Once again I must apologize to all of you guys who followed my 1.11.0 guide and were experiencing this kind of crashing. Hopefully this video itself will alleviate a lot of your problems and FPS++ will be released for these updates very very soon. Below in the description I will have you informed as to whether there is a compatible version of FPS++ for use with these game versions. This will help anyone seeing this video at a later date and help avoid confusion within the CMU Breath of the Wild community. As always guys, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it dislike it if you didn't and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.